I'm going to create an overlay to go with my BeLive Studio 2 setup. Now, if we look at what's available at the moment, then I could use one of the ones that are supplied by BeLive and I just select it and apply it. And there it is. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Let's go for a different one and apply that so I can switch between frames whilst I'm live. I'll take my name off now and I'll take the frame off. So the question is, and I'll go to the top here and apply no frame. The question is, how do you actually create a frame from scratch? How can you design your own? How can you do your own overlays? Now, a few things to bear in mind. When you're actually live, if you're using an agenda, the agenda items are going to appear at the bottom of the screen. So you, if you're going to use the bottom part as part of your frame, remember that the agenda items are going to show and also user comments are going to show as well. And if we go with user comments, then they can take up more space. So bear that in mind. Now, there are at least two ways to actually create a frame. And the first one I'm going to look at is Canva. Now, this is the pro version of Canva, which is $12.95 a month, I think. And I'm going to create a design. And I'm going to do it custom dimensions. Now, custom dimensions are 1280 by 720. And these are the same for each frame that you do, 1280 by 720. And then click Create Frame. And you've then got a design on the screen. And you've got a blank canvas. And you can add on to that canvas whatever assets that you like so if I was going to add an element and say the element was that one then I can resize that element and what I'm actually doing is I'm designing the layout of my frame that's going to be at the top and I can then go to text and add a heading and um, I wish I could spell it be good. And then I can increase the size of that box and move the text there. Now, from experience, the text size wants to be 24, and that works quite well. You can experiment with this, it's up to you. The other thing you can do is you can change the color of the background. OK, and you could change the color of the text. And change the text color to white. OK, and you're actually building up a canvas. OK, and you can put whatever you want on there, wherever you want. It's 1280 by 720 and you can design as you go and this is the important part. You must have the pro version of Canva and you must set it to transparent background. And you can then download that transparent background. OK, design is prepared and it's going to come up with a preview in a second. There we are. So that's a simple simplish and what I'm going to do is that is currently sat in that directory so excuse me for a moment and uh, I'm going to copy that frame and I'm going to go across to the second directory where I store my runtime things and paste so just a review 1280 by 720 Create the layout that you want. Download it as a transparent PNG or a transparent file. And then the next stage is if I go back and you'll see me in a minute, 
go back to here I can go to overlays I can add an overlay and in this particular case I'm going to add the overlay that I just created and it will come up with that in a second there it is so we've created an overlay very quickly and it's going to upload and once it's uploaded I can select it and apply it okay so Belive Studio 2 is where I am that's what I wanted but you can determine what's on the top what's down the side or that side and what's on the bottom but on the bottom bear in mind that you need to remember that the comments will be there as well so what I did earlier is if I go back and close that tab and I go to SJH interviews the thing about designing is it's an interesting process you go through you start with one design and then you say well that's not good I tried with having different layouts and you can see the different layouts I went through and some worked and some didn't and then eventually I ended up with this layout and I'm going to go back to the studio and I'm going to pick the layout that I chose earlier and I'm going to apply that so with a bit of work you can actually create something that you're happy with if you're happy with it, it looks good on screen what you're seeing now is what will go out live um, and the other thing to remember is that you don't have to have the overlay on the screen all the time you decide when to actually display it so you can switch it on and off uh, it probably has more impact if you use it at the beginning and then sometimes during the show several times then at the end um, well that's just my opinion but the key to it is creating a design and that design being custom dimensions 1280 by 720 just remember those two figures 1280 by 720 and just be creative I mean I'm not artistic in any way shape or form but I can um, create something which I'm happy with and I can bring it in to the studio the other thing about if you design a frame it okay it's trying to load that's why it didn't work the point I was making is that you can quickly switch the layout and all will be well there we are so interviews you can have hours of fun with this right okay I'm going to clear that and apply okay so that's it cleared um, now Canva is one way of doing it the other way to do it is to do it in uh, Google Slides and in Google Slides there's an example of one uh, similar information as before but we can't get quite the same quality of um, well of overlay really we can't get the same quality but what we can do is change the background and I ch change that to transparent then I've actually got an overlay using Google Slides which I can download and then bring into the studio and this is the one using Google Slides okay and that's the one that doesn't work because I forgot to do the transparent remember to do the transparency download it as a PNG from Google Slides and then you can bring it into the BeLive Studio 2 and it will simply work now I've seen some fantastic uh, overlays and I just in awe of people who can sit down and design fantastic overlays um, I just enjoy doing it I may well use these live so that's it 1280 by 720 you can design your own overlays using Canva or Google Slides or your favorite software just remember that you need the background to be transparent you need the size to be 1280 by 720 and that's it 
That's all there is to it. I wish you, well, I wish you fun and success in actually creating your own overlays. And I'll see you in the next lecture.